I'm a student at the University of Western Ontario. I'm working at Crossings Grill and Pub and the London Ice Cream Company. In my spare time, I like to do yoga, paint, draw, and hang out with friends and family. I'm here to raise awareness about mental health issues and to reduce the stigma surrounding mental illness. I want everyone to know my story and how mental health has changed my life. Well, I've been known for a while for having really long hair and I thought it would be a drastic way to raise awareness if I cut off my entire ponytail. I'm hoping to raise 2500 and once I reach that, I will cut it off. My oldest brother, Lucas O'Shea, took his own life February 28, 2011. I wanted to start this fundraiser to raise awareness and to reach out to people who are suffering. Last August, I felt really depressed and broke down in my doctor's office crying. Soon after, I had an appointment at the hospital. The doctor there told me that I was just still in a stage of grief. It took me over a year to actually open up to someone about Luke and tell them how I was actually feeling and how the reason why I miss Luke. No one had asked me that before. No one wanted to bring up his name, but I do because I want everyone to know how amazing he was. There are two that stand out. I was with three other of my friends and we were all in a lot of trouble and everyone's parents were called, but Luke came instead of my parents. My friends and I were all bawling our eyes out and Luke came up to me and was like, it's okay Amy, everything's going to be fine. He was always there when I needed him and he was always the first person I would go to for advice. Another memory of Luke would be his spontaneous acts. He would always do a funny dance or a crazy face or literally anything to make everyone around him laugh and smile. Cars painting shoreline and dedicated it to Luke. I have also done three other art projects for him. I have two tattoos in remembrance of my brother. Erica and I, which is Luke's ex-girlfriend, hosted an art show for Luke a year after his passing at the Arts Project downtown London. We usually called him Lukey. He was very artistic and musically talented. <laughs> He was amazing at drawing, painting, sculpting, photography, and he could play almost any instrument and any song. Hey, it's a great, great pleasure sorry, to welcome to a daytime of Luke O'Shea, who I was uh, fortunate enough to meet when I hosted a high school battle of bands uh, last month at yep. the Laurier High School. How are you, Luke? I'm great. I'm doing fine. Mm -hmm. Things are going good in school. It's great. That's good. It's okay. I'm not a truant yeah. officer or anything like that. How are your marks? Oh, you they're okay, good. young man? 80s. Okay. <laughs> now, do you just play bass or you play other instruments? Uh, actually, I play acoustic guitar, too, and I do a bit of singing, but uh, bass is my forte. Oh, yeah. well, check it out. Here's uh, Luke O'Shea. All right. Lucas O'Shea says it's been an amazing experience because they've touched on all aspects of theater. It's been really good. We've learned like everything. We've learned like lighting and sound. We've learned uh, audio recording. Like we record some original music for the plays you'll see. And uh, we did makeup with a professional makeup artist. We did stage combat. Everything. All four plays written by local playwrights address issues facing young adults, but with a humorous side. Showtime is 8 o'clock and it runs until Saturday. Well, cutting my hair is just the beginning. I'm hoping to raise a lot of awareness in the community in the upcoming years. It will be my fourth year going to the Suicide Awareness Walk, and I will be attending the Austin Burlett Camp out as well. 
I just want to thank everyone who has helped me through the hard times after Luke's passing. I want to thank everyone that has helped me with this fundraiser, especially Ian McAlpine for filming and editing. <laughs> Can you edit that? <laughs> and Haley Dietz for doing the photo shoot. I want to thank Luke for being the most influential person in my life. And I want to thank him for all the advice that he has given me and all the great times that we've had together. I will treasure all of them for the rest of my life. You dance, you spin, you fly away. You know just what I'm thinking of. You kiss and take my breath away. You know just what I'm thinking of.
that's the end of it.